What's up everybody, Corey with Freaky Tall Reviews here. I've been on the market for a new string trimmer ever since I reviewed the Ego Straight Shaft Trimmer about a year ago. As a taller person at six foot 10, I needed something that's gonna be more comfortable that I don't have to lean at a weird angle when using. So I ended up selling the Ego Trimmer and going back to this old, very short hybrid Ryobi one that I had that was somehow just more comfortable to use. But with incredible timing, Wild Badger Power reached out to me and said, hey, take a look at some of our products and see if there's any that are interesting for you to review. And one of them caught my eye. They sent over the 52cc Straight Shaft brush brush cutter with buy candles for me to take a look at. And while I had seen buy candles before on a weed eater, I never thought to look at it from the standpoint of a taller person and ergonomics. But in addition to those handles, there's one more reason why I think it's great for a taller person that I'll cover in just a little bit. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the quality of the trimmer itself and also how it works from a tall person's perspective. And let me assure you, while they did send this unit over for review, they have no say in my opinion on it and they have not seen this video before it goes live. This two-in-one weed eater has a grass trimming attachment as well as a brush cutter blade for heavier grasses and brush clearing. It uses a 52cc two-cycle full crank engine with a 60-inch shaft and weighs in at 19 pounds. Now, the immediate thing that caught my attention from a tall person's perspective was the two upright handles with an upright throttle. What I disliked so much about the Ego Straight Shaft Weed Eater was how the battery rested against your forearm while you were using it. And because of how you had to hold it, it made it very uncomfortable. And also, in order to get a good cutting angle, you had to have kind of a weird lean to your body. The wild Badger trimmer is nice because you hold both handles while using it and it allows you to stand up straight with no leaning to one side. And the other thing that I really liked as a tall person about this weed eater is the fact that it comes with a shoulder harness while you're using it to completely take the weight off of your hands and lower back. So the combinations of the handles and the harness made me think this just might be the best weed eater style for tall people. There are a lot of brands out there with similar styles, but today we are looking at just the Wild Badger one because I actually have it in hand and I've been able to use it personally. Now, I don't know how long this trimmer is going to last and I don't know how reputable the company is. It made me feel better that I saw them in a big box retailer like Lowe's, but you can only find them on Lowe's websites and I checked a couple of them in my immediate area and I didn't see them in store. With that aside, I want to focus on the quality of the unit itself. With nice packaging and aesthetics, I like the overall look of the weed eater. The quality feels solid enough from what you would expect out of a $200 weed eater, which is not a bad price to pay for a unit like this. And I've seen it as low as $177 on Amazon, so definitely keep an eye out for deals. And also check the link in the description so you can see it for yourself and determine if you'd like to have one as well. Putting it together is very easy and after holding it for the first time with the harness I realized how well balanced it is. I found the instructions a bit confusing when it came to changing out the trimmer head versus the brush cutter but after working with it for a couple of minutes and a bit of common sense I was able to put things together correctly and I gotta say the power of the 52cc engine is notable. This thing feels like a beast and I never felt it bogged down once while I was using it in heavy brush. Now I didn't really get to fully test it in some really thick stuff, but it still feels plenty powerful. And also keep in mind the grass that you're seeing me cut, it had rained earlier that day, so it was also very thick and wet. The brush cutter attachment is fantastic and able to easily slice through a bush. I normally don't like two-in-one combination stuff like this because that means it's normally not as good at one of the two things, but the trimmer attachment and the brush cutter work very well on this. Now one thing I did have concerns about was because of how close you have to hold the weed eater to your body, I was concerned with how hot the engine would get right up against your back. However, while the engine does get very warm, I will say that the way that the heat dissipates from the engine, it does not get hot against your back at all. And this was after about 30 minutes of use, so it wasn't gonna get much hotter than that, and it wasn't uncomfortable at all. Now, my favorite part about this weed eater is the one that I have the most concerns about when it comes to durability. The engine itself and overall build is solid enough. And while I'm not sure how much of a lifespan it'll have, I think it's easily worth the price tag. But where I have concerns is the harness. The padding of the harness is what I think will wear down quickly, as once it gets moist from sweat, I can imagine it deteriorating quite a bit. The clips and strap itself are good enough, but you can tell that they are rated for residential use and not commercial. But if you're only trying to spend $200 on a commercial weed eater, then you probably need to reevaluate what you're actually purchasing and look for something that's a bit more durable. Now the harness system is not unique to Wild Badger. A lot of these trimmers that have bike handles, you'll find that they come with harnesses like this, but this is the only one that I could find at an easily affordable price point. Now the biggest area of my focus as a tall person at 6'10 is ergonomics. I found that I was able to stand completely straight when using it, which is a game changer. I will say that even with the 60 inch shaft, I personally would still love for it to be a bit longer. However, for anyone below six foot 10, I can confidently say that you will be very comfortable using it. Normally when I'm weed eating or doing some type of yard work, my back starts to ache within 10 minutes. But after using this string trimmer for 30 minutes, it wasn't uncomfortable at all because I was literally not having to put my back in an awkward position, which is really nice. So I really like what this trimmer has to offer for the price. The engine is powerful, the ergonomics are great, and I do recommend it from the perspective of a tall person. But I will say I can't guarantee its lifespan and how long it's going to last you. And I do see some areas of build quality that I would label as cheap, 
like the harness. But overall, I think it's a great option for a taller person, and I think it pairs nicely with the Ego push mower that I reviewed last year, which has a great self-propelled system, so you're not having to use any part of your lower back to actually push at waist level. So I think the combination of the two, you can do landscaping completely pain-free with your back. But if you've made it this far into the video, I hope that you will take the time to consider subscribing and joining the Freaky Tall family. I have a goal of hitting 7,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and I would love if you'd be a part of that journey as well. Also, check out my Instagram and my TikTok for additional content outside of this channel. And huge shout out to my patrons over on Patreon that helped me bring new products to the channel to review. But thanks again for stopping by today. Again, I'm Corey with Freaky Tall Reviews. I'll see you next time.